hey you, my name is Marnie and from here on out, I am going to be your very own personal wing girl. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to do so that you can attract, date, seduce, and get any girl you want. Well, how to be mysterious with women and avoid being a douchebag. I got an email recently that really bothered me. It perturbed me, actually. It perturbed me, I like that word, because it gave me flashbacks to the many times when I experienced what this guy was asking about, but from the other end. I wanted to share it with you because hopefully you are not making the same flirting mistake this guy has been making over and over and sadly over again. One that I know a lot of pickup artist types condone for some ridiculous reason because it doesn't work. It just pisses women off. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. But as a woman, I know that these stupid things do not work and in fact infuriate hot, awesome women. One that I know a lot of pickup artist types condone for some silly reason. As a woman, I know these stupid things do not work and in fact infuriate. I can feel this in my belly. Awesome women, but I am getting ahead of myself. So let me take a step back and just share the email with you. So here's the email I got so you can read for yourself what this guy was doing. I've included my response to him and a further explanation. So here's the email. Marnie, a lot of the male PUA teachers advocate such things as teasing, CNF ball busting, which I have no freaking clue what it is, uh, cock and I have no idea, never giving a direct answer to a question, etc., etc. I understand that being a little mysterious is attractive, but I've also experienced firsthand um, women becoming quite hostile with this at their perceived lack of genuineness from you. I recently experienced this firsthand with a woman I was chatting with on Facebook. She thought I was arrogant, sexist, and not genuine. Admittedly, I was teasing quite a bit and not answering her questions, rework, etc. Happy to mail you the conversation if you wish. Would like to hear your thoughts on this and your expertise on this would be appreciated. Thanks, R. Sorry, this is my response, but no need to send me the conversation because I can already feel her frustration and I know why she had this reaction. So here's the deal. Women love banter with a new guy. Women love flirting and women love, love, love teasing if done correctly. The thing that we women do not love is when someone is inconsistent, meaning their ball busting lines seem out of character to who they are, usually meaning that there are mixed messages being sent by the man. Either his body language does not match his words or his tone is conflicting with his words. There are multiple ways to show inconsistency, but what this indicates to women is there is something that is not genuine about this guy and they have to be careful. The other thing we women cannot stand is when a guy will not answer our questions, especially when asked several times. Listen, I'm all for mystery and being playful, but when a woman sincerely is asking about you, it means she wants to get to know you. And if you make that impossible for her by avoiding her questions, using cheeky sidestepping responses, it signals to the woman that you are hiding something and that you don't really want to connect with her. I'm not saying that you have to be forthcoming about everything in every question a woman asks you, because I know sometimes we can be and can ask a little much, but answer some questions and don't always try to be playful and mysterious. Balance is key, which means you can play around with a woman, but eventually you have to answer. If she asks you five, three times, even two times, joke around once and then become more serious and give her the answer that she needs or whatever answer you want to give. So if a woman asks you what you do for a living, you can start off by saying something like, if I told you I'd have to kill you or I'm an astronaut or something playful and you can play on that for a few banters back and forth. But then it's always a good idea to eventually reveal the truth. I'm just messing with you. I'm an ex. And then share a little about that so that there's a balance of the jokey guy, the teasing guy, and the semi-serious guy who's real and genuine and and has um, some depth to him. The tactic of never answering a woman's questions and always answering it with a question is something that's it it doesn't work unless you are using it on an insecure girl. But even then, it's still frustrating if it's not done right. As I'm writing this, I'm picturing the most recent guy who did this to me, and I remember thinking, what an arrogant jerk. He seems so scummy to me. Right now, I have to get away from him. I'm sorry, but it's true. Men who continuously do not answer our questions just seem super douchey and sketchy. At least that's how it seems from a woman's perspective. Make sense? You can still tease and challenge and can be fun, but answer questions and ask questions back. So here's the add-on that I wanted to include because I can literally picture you doing what R did and I can also picture the woman you were doing it to getting more and more frustrated each time 
she asks you a question. I have had many a man do this to me. For every question they sidestep, or playfully don't answer, the stronger my urge becomes to punch them in the face. All I think is, why are we talking then? I can talk to a wall and get the same out of it. You have to remember that when women ask you questions, it's so that they can get to know you. This is for both safety purposes, but they are also looking for ways to connect to you. If you sidestep every question, she can't connect to you and figure out who you are and whether or not she wants to date you, friend you, sleep with you, etc. Doing this tactic for every one in five questions can be cute, but every question is just useless and not a turn on at all. If you're not going to actually talk to me, then what are we doing? Here's a story for you. 10 years ago, I met this guy for the first time at my house. My friend had brought him over and he used this tactic on me. I was trying to get him and I kept asking, what do you do for a living? Side note, women don't ask what you do for a living for superficial reasons. They're trying to get to know you and what you do can show a lot about who you are. This guy would not answer me and after three times, I gave up and declared him an asshole. Two years later, I hired him as my lawyer because everybody needs a good asshole in their back pocket, but not in their front pocket if you know what I'm saying. Now, over over the past decade of being a wing girl, I've interviewed nearly 5,000 women. I can say with 100% certainty that almost all of them would agree with what I have said here. What is the lesson here? The lesson is that balance is key. And while mystery is fun and can be very playful, refusing to answer a woman's questions is going to land you in the don't talk to that douche zone very quickly. Have fun this weekend and make sure you do not make this same mistake that I made and that my douchey lawyer made. Want to know the second, third, and fourth biggest mistakes men make when approaching women? Then get a copy of How to Become a, Wo- a Man Women Want. You are listening to a Wing Girl Method production. For more tips on how to attract, date, seduce, and get any girl you want, visit winggirlmethod.com and I'll tell you exactly what you need to do to get the women you want.